This is You Can't Treat Steak Like a Chicken Breast. Get it for free at otfi.com slash steak. There's an Almond Brothers song called You Can't Treat Steak Like a Chicken Breast. <laughs> you can't treat steak like chicken breast. You can't treat pants like country dress. You can't go to court if you don't have a case. Smack your butt if you're wearing that lace. I love steak nuggets. Oh. I'm all about the meat right now. I'm all about this. Yo, where are the good steak nuggets at? Steak nuggets. 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 Oh my god. You don't tell Wonder Woman who's fly. You don't fit in a chicken breast eye. Mike TV remembers that song. <laughs> oh, let's start this thing! Woo! Hello, you beautiful denizens of chat realm, you demon hordes of the internet, you fantabulous fixtures of this time and place. My name is Brian Rushford. I am live in Austin, Texas, and that means it has got to be go time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since ever. Joining me, as always, is me, me, is me BFF, you know, okay, okay, just J-R-Y, top of the morning oh, to oh, you. Oh, oh, and, and, and a fairly well to you, Brian, uh, <laughs> oh. me, me old mate. <laughs> just, just a beautiful top of the morning, indeed. Hi, uh, why don't you tell the nice people what we're up to? Well, now, I, I'd, be, I'd be so glad to do so, Brian. Uh, well, you know, we have our good old friend in here, the troubadour of his own age. Uh, you know, uh, 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 twitch.tv slash uh, Mike TV Live. Who well, you could just call him Mike TV. <laughs> oh, Sharon Begora. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what they say, Brian. This is all irony. <laughs> it's all. Oh, it's nothing but the irony, you know. That's you. Yes, you know, it's not racist if they're also white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bumper stick. Oh no! No, God already. Damn. The oh, no. beginning, already. the first minute. Oh, no. oh, the blackouts. <laughs> Never go full Irish. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> The black Irish? Bonnie! <laughs> I think that's a thing of dark hair. Bonnie, no, it's not. It's not a to snow. Oh, it's not that I'm at sorry. all. I'm sorry. Bon give Bonnie that she's not ready for the front page. Ready <laughs> for the front page! Oh, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. All right. So we got we got a full house tonight. Uh, we're going to have a, 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 a ton of fun. Uh, but you pulled out something during the pre-show that uh, uh, was was already a huge hit. Do we want to go into this? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So uh, the last. So my brother uh, moved recently and he got a hold of some items from our childhood and f still in the package from 1988, I want to say. Uh, when I was, what, in eighth grade, <clears throat> was this package containing one Boglin. And and I question anybody who knows what a Boglin is. Nobody nobody seems to have known. I Yeah, I, I you you asked me, uh, and I didn't know whether or not you were kidding or not. I thought it was like a new toy. You're like, like uh, and I don't know, for whatever reason, I heard you as, as Norm MacDonald. That <laughs> you were just like, yeah, yeah anybody, uh, anybody of, remember uh, these Boglins? Uh, <laughs> Is Boglins. Uh, <laughs> so, this, yeah, no, so this was 87. Jeez. Yeah, it, uh, it was. We, we had just moved back, back from Norway and uh, we had, uh, you know, Christmas presents under the tree. And, and this is at that age where I'm starting to know better, but I'm still trying to figure out what presents are. And I got this from my Aunt Karen. And, you know, you, you pick up the box, you shake it, it doesn't really feel like anything. And then, like, one, one night, parents are out. And it's like you, you kind of get one finger in because it's like the one thing is you must not tear. You must not tear the tape because then they'll know. Right. But I mean, listen, this sounds a lot like middle school. You got, you got one it's, finger in. It's a, what, well, I got one finger in <laughs> right hurt. between them folds. <laughs> and I think Did you have to tease it. Well, like, well, like, like, yeah, was and I had never been this far. And yeah, I thought, yeah, I, yeah, thought yeah, I wonder. Yeah. I wonder what what majesty lies in store, <laughs> yeah. and I don't, curl. Don't, don't think about going more than one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so, yeah. And I curl around, and I feel, and I feel open space in there, and I was like, 
I didn't know that's what <laughs> was in there. And then I felt the the salty crevices of of uh, of of a bog like, hideous, warded, diseased creature. I think you're doing it wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> And, and someone I, went to public school. <laughs> and it was so messed up. I'm, I'm like, what is this? So it's like uh, in our family, <laughs> we always got to open one Christmas present early on, on Christmas Eve. And so I'm yep. like, I, I got to know what this is. And I tore it open. And if you haven't seen it, <laughs> a Wait, bog. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 just go ahead. Slowly rise uh, uh, this, this, this boggling into frame. Oh, he's got horns. Oh, oh God. He looks like the first sketch of Shrek. He looks like the exactly. first. You know, he does. He looks like Turkish Shrek. I was. I was the thrown away Shrek. He's Irish now. <laughs> they, went, they went Scottish instead of Irish. I said, I'm truly green, though. They didn't care. So I became a senator. 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 I, I, I got bribed. They called me the senator because I got bribed for one penny. <laughs> Cheaper than any other senator, I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's a hundred of us. The senators will come for you. We'll eat your souls, but give it well, back I mean, for uh, only uh, one penny. Uh, senator, uh, uh, senator Boglin, it looks like you only have one arm. How, how did you lose your other arm? I'm glad you asked me that. <laughs> You know, many people in the great goblin uh, boggling war, they refused to serve. I was one of them. They caught me and they ripped off my arm. I was very ashamed. Hold on. I've got to fix my eyes. Hold on. There, there, there we go. Uh, 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 oh, my God. All right. So this thing, it, 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 for those of you who are listening on audio, imagine that the Shrek's head had Jabba the Hutt's tail just out the back like a and rat. And Jabba the Hutt's libido. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> and, I and then, love the young ladies. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, the young ladies, huh? Uh, I meant the old ladies. <laughs> oh, okay. The very old ladies who are old and warty like me, Senator Boglin. Uh, that, 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 it, it bring us into a, a date that you would have with one of these old ladies. <laughs> oh, okay. So first, I gotta pick up an old lady. So I go to Bingo. Vegas and I walk past all these slot machines, and I go to the Britney Spears show, and then I walk up on stage. This is a long journey. <laughs> and I grab. A lot of <laughs> this is how he picks I up. I grab Britney Spears. Britney. <laughs> Oh. Against her will. Oh. <laughs> okay, and that's not appropriate. Have you ever done it with a senator? <laughs> I mean, this seems like a Me Too waiting to happen, Senator Boglin. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great. Boglin's eyes are just darting as he's he's making his way off the stage here. Oh God! Oh, what a moment for Senator Boglin. Oh, what? oh. This is great. Uh, uh, YouTube.com/slash/nightattack show if you want to see this yeah, visual. Yeah. Bit. Wow, he's doing the bit again. He's coming back again. Anyway, um. It was so disturbing <laughs> that it was the last pre Christmas present that I tried to peek in. Uh, I'm so glad it's back in my life. I forgot how fun this thing was. By oh, the way, I imagine that you, uh, how old were you at, at this point that you got this as a gift? <laughs> oh, 74. <laughs> no, oh, not him. Uh, no, I was uh, 13. Uh, yeah. I, right. I, I, I imagine that 13-year-old Brian Brushwood uh, reaching in and not knowing what this thing is as he, as he reaches into the box immediately saw what just happened. Like, just flashed into the future and just is like, oh, it's me, Senator Boglin. And you're like, oh, God. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, my eyes, they, 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 they roll like a cartoon and they land on jackpot and I'm like, I'll become a magician and then an internet comedian and then we'll have albums and we'll be on the front page of Twitch, which will be a thing, I assume. You know what, what I about? Oh, uh, uh, so what about you, man? Uh, I, I, we have a new record, and and I'm I'm gonna say this, and it's gonna sound like I'm admonishing you, but I swear I'm not. Uh, I think we went a record three phone calls that went unanswered, which I can assume 
uh, only what happened because you were having a fantastic vacation and just didn't have time to return. Well, well certainly uh, I will not break that record now that I know that you keep count. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, you, you know how it goes. It's like you, you, you got a circuit when you have downtime and you call some folks. And uh, and it was only at the third time that I was like, wow, man, I, Justin's really. And then it hit me. I'm like, he's on he, he's on vacation. Where is he on vacation? And I was like, oh, the most wonderful place on the planet. I'm and I don't vacation. mean Disney World. I mean specifically the drinking around the world at Epcot, which is a I, subsection. I was- I was on the vacation that I became hot for once you guys did it and we couldn't because we were doing TwitchCon. But yeah, me and Ash went down to uh, to to Epcot. In fact, I'll tell you what, I really kind of want to shame her here on the front page. I swear uh, to God, <laughs> if you pull out another Boglin, I'm going to just instantly <laughs> jizz and we're canceling the show. <laughs> I have no idea how much I wish I had another Boglin right now. <laughs> Ah, Jay still has his. Jay's too, got the right? other one. Got the other one. one. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so we go to to Disney, and mind you, Ashley, although we've been to Disney a couple times, is very skeptical on us doing a Disney trip. <gasps> okay, or can I can I set the stage here? Uh, you had. I, I, I think you said this on the, sh- the the show, so I don't think I'm talking out of school. But sure. Ashley, you you grew up in Florida where there are lots of theme parks and they tell a lot of story and hopefully integrate a good ride. Whereas uh, Ashley grew up in Ohio, which had this kind of ride or die, cedar point or get bent mentality where yep. it's like, it's about the coasters, bro. And uh, and she 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 took some some convincing to go along for this ride. Well, she's just like, oh, well, you know, whatever. We do like one day at Epcot. We could probably bang that out in a half day. Like, what else to do? Like, why are we gonna stay on property? Why are we gonna spend the money? Yada yada yada. And then she finds out, like a day into us being there, we have a great day at Epcot and it's a fun time. She finds out about pin trading. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, uh, literally! No, Bonnie's face, Bonnie's face, oh, like at the sound God. of pin trading, God, went went full Boglin. Bonnie did not approve. <laughs> uh, she found out about pin trading late Saturday night, right? <laughs> uh, here, actually, don't even don't even, don't even worry about the the, the shop price. I have it right here. Live. 24 hours later. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. She looks like wow. uh, <laughs> she looks like the mooch from the Whiskey Vault channel. <laughs> She's got like uh, that's amazing. How many pins does she get? 20, 24? I don't even want to count, oh. nor do I want to think about oh, how much 20. money was there. But also, you realize how much hey, the pin trading. All right, here. I think I think she might be coming in too. <laughs> too. <laughs> So she she sheepishly uh, uh, walking around here. Do you want to take take your take your booty? Uh, <laughs> well, people are saying, why did I let I let her get into pin trading? I, there was no stopping her. She literally, we were done for the night on Saturday night, and uh, she's saying, oh, Mike, that she was drunk. Sure, listen, we all have our excuses. Just ask Angela Lansbury. Uh, God, <laughs> it's like sma- smash cut to the to the PSA. It's like pins, <laughs> not even once. <laughs> So uh, she, I think that we're we're back. Me and a buddy of mine uh, uh, that that we had gone for the first day with are hanging out at the bar, doing a nightcap. Which, by the way, pro level drinking around the world when you can do a nightcap at the bar and not be kicked out immediately. Uh, we uh, we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, I'm like, "Oh wow, Ashley's not here. I wonder where she went. I I, I wouldn't be shocked if she had gone to the room." She just went to sleep. Long day out in the Florida heat. Totally understandable. No. She shows up blinged out with a, 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 an amount I don't even want to say that she had spent on fins literally in the gift shop preparing for the next day when she would do her pin trading. Holy cow. <laughs> awesome. And so uh, how, do you, how, do, how do you respond to that? I mean, what do you do, man? Like, my, 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 my wife just came down and said, hey, I'm doing coke now. It's great. It's coke. It's fantastic. Have you heard of it? Well, and, and you think to yourself, like, there will be a time to discuss her cocaine habit. Yeah. 
not tonight. Rock we'll be that vacation. Time. <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Like, that's fine. She's into Coke now. Maybe we'll deal with it when we get home. <laughs> Uh, no, it, I'll, I'll tell you what it was. It was great. That was that was after yeah a, after day two, uh, her full uh, uh, her full regalia of 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 all the different kinds of pins. It looks like she almost it, bought a shirt full of arrows pointing at all of the pins. Yeah. No, I'll tell you what. It, it was it was wild though. When you get into that pin trading scene, so uh, for those of you who haven't been to Disney, apparently here's how it works. You have every different store has a pin trading board. That you can trade one of your pins for one of their pins. It's Disney only, right? So you can't, for example, trade a pin available in the new pin sets on stickers or DIAF right now. You can't just do one of those like this Please Don't Die pin available now. Uh, you have to do one of theirs, but then also any of the uh, uh, employees that also have pins on their lanyard they have to trade with you. And when I was asking the people like, oh, how often do people ask about it? They're like over six to seven times an hour. Wow. So essentially that's their job is to walk around like like ostensibly they're there to sweep up the, the, the ground. But really they're they're a walking trading cart. Basically. Yeah. And we actually had somebody recognize us in, in Epcot, like stopped us and, and like said hi and literally all Ashley was doing was like, oh, hi, yeah, okay, great, yeah, met you at Nertacular. What's that bird pin doing? <laughs> <laughs> so so did, there, huh? did she collect to a certain theme? <laughs> like she wanted all a a aviation, an aviary? Yeah. So now the thing was she immediately decided only bird pins. Awesome. She only wants bird pins. Except, except, do you want to tell how you disappointed a eight-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm literally about to get on mic, and then I chased her off. <laughs> oh! So I guess it's up to you to tell us. Oh, so it's the end of the night, and all of a sudden we uh, uh, run across a family that wants us to take a picture, yeah. right? And uh, the the boy, it's a boy, girl, mom, dad, and so <laughs> they're like, uh, uh, like the boy's like, oh, can I trade for one of your pins? And she goes full, like, awesome, like, you know, like, super great with the kid. Like, oh, sure, yeah, yeah. What do you got? What do you got versus what I got? And so he's, like, very – he's shooting for the moon. Like, he wants the awesome, gigantic Darth Vader one for, like, garbage. And she's like, well, I want a bird pin. Seems simple. She might even trade something larger for, for any kind of bird pin. All they have – was it a Donald or a Daisy? It was an ugly Donald, but she did not deem that bird worthy enough. No, dude, that's a that's a bird. He's a duck. He's a bird. His second name. It's a, hey, yeah. His next I is a bird for him. So she has to look. She has to look this eight year old in his eyes and just be like, "Sorry, kid, no sale." <laughs> 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 Donald's the worst, though. I mean, I mean oh, oh, so, so you're on her side. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm totally on. I I have children, and I would be okay with you not accepting that pin because Donald sucks. But also, yeah, but is, I, 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 look, he's got he's got issues. He's got anger management yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? You know he why? Because you know why? Because people keep denying him at birdhood. That's what you know. It it hap uh, yeah, happens over twenty years. It starts to piss you off. Wait, what? Well, I'm sorry. What? What? You get no, denied no, no, bird. Bird hold birdhood. Explain. He, he, he keeps getting denied birdhood by people like Bonnie well, saying he's it, not. It, it, <laughs> explain to me the sexual move of birdhooding. <laughs> How does one bird? Maybe write a song about it. Let's hear about bird hooding. <laughs> oh my God. Um. <laughs> well, that's I used the best to be thing about Mike TV is that now he's trying to think of a song about bird hooding. <laughs> well, I used to be a bird just the other day. I had the wings and I had the bill. But then I ran across some petulant woman that said, You're no bird, <laughs> you're just an angry little duck. <laughs> It's me, Donald the Bird, <laughs> also known as Donald the Duck. Ducks are birds, by the way. <laughs> me, Donald the Bird. <laughs> Donald, I'm Donald. Donald, I'm Donald the Bird Duck. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> so that was my, you know, I saw that was my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, number one, everybody, uh, if you are aware of Mike TV, Mike TV uh, uh, streams live on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Mike TV live. It's so easy. Go ahead and follow him as well. But if you want to support this show, the easiest way to do it is go to patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, that is where you can make sure that you kick us a little scratch, a little scrilla, a little, I don't know. I'm a little I'm scratch. Rock Limbaugh. <laughs> uh, you know, if, if you want to go ahead and support the show, uh, snurdly, you, you know, you, what, what do you want to go, go, go ahead and do, do is go to patreon.com <laughs> slash night attack. That's where the, the drive-by media can't get to the money that you would give to us, the night attack program. Uh, more importantly, uh, Mr. Twitch TV star Rush Limbaugh, L. Rushbow. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash L. Rushbow. What? I'm speed running uh, Mario Odyssey. <laughs> oh, I, what's 500 stars? Now, hold oh, on. Now, when, when, uh, when you're playing Mario Odyssey, AM radio legend uh, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, yeah, it's me. I, I, I play, I love Mario Odyssey. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you, you go to different places. A Bowser. <laughs> Uh, has uh, you know reminding me a lot of of, of Bill Clinton, uh, just just uh, uh, strong strong arming goon arming yeah, well, Princess hold, Peach. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 El Rushbo, um, uh, it's yeah, very yeah. curious to me that that the guy my dad listens to. Uh, huh? While he's watching Fox News, would be yeah. so interested in such a young hip game like Mario I love Odyssey. It. I love, I love the Switch, Brian. You oh. know, yeah, it, it, it's a fantastic device. Again, in Mario Odyssey, much <laughs> like uh, Uncle Joe Biden, uh, you know, just very handsy with Princess Peach, st uh, absconding with her, uh, you know, on on his airship to a wedding that she has plainly not consented to, and now it is up to Mario. <laughs> I, I mean, so so, so you you are you are concerned with issues of consent when it comes to, to to ladies. Well, you know when it comes to Senator Al Frankenstein and the rest of the Dems <laughs> with their wandering hands, it's no wonder where Bowser gets it. And now, how do you answer to allegations about our our Commander in Chief and his admitted uh, sexual assaults? Mario Odyssey is a fantastic game <laughs> to real world uh, elements with a very, very compelling uh, uh, strategy where you throw your hat onto literally anything and you now inhabit the being. I love it, Snurdly. So, so you, you would say that uh, throw your hat in the ring for Mario Odyssey. I would, and you can watch me uh, uh, speed run Mario Odyssey on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv uh, uh, slash lrushbo666. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know. That's, that's, that's a... Magic phase, Brian. I mean, I have, as soon as I got these cochlear implants, I, I started uh, seeing things in a new way. Uh, uh, now, when you say seeing things in a new way, you were hallucinating? You know, the same way that Rinaldus Magnus took upon the White House and decided to slay all of the demons from the 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 the, the scumbags that that uh, comprise the drive-by media and their lady journalists. <laughs> their lady journalists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, That's I, I think I think you meant to say. So in the in the first level, you're in what seems to be an afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I think lady journalists are called journalists. Mario Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash Night Attack is where you can support this show. I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, Rush... WRNO. Uh, hey, man, yeah, if you are a new pledger on Patreon or you raise your pledge. Take two. Take two. Don't, don't, don't raise do the joke your pledge. <laughs> your pledge. Uh, aluminum linoleum. Uh, then you get to participate in the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. Hour of it. All right, Justin, I need you to pick a first name. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, doggone it. Oh, doggone it. I was about to call out a name because it, it was the most recent activity. It turns out there's somebody going from $5 to $1.
Oh, geez. Well, then we'll have the silent cursing of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know who you are. Enjoy our new segment. Give me the echo. Give me our new segment. <clears throat> silent, silent judgment. judgment. <laughs> silent judgment. <laughs> silent judgment. <laughs> silent judgment. <laughs> All right. That's the end of that bit. So if you don't want the silent judgment, then you better get on over to patreon.com slash night attack. What? What might somebody be doing and then they're listening Crying to this? Crying into his hands, hopefully. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just weeping. Somebody. Do we have a real one? I know. No, somebody. that was it. That was the real one. New bit. <laughs> Silent judgment. <laughs> <laughs> No, somebody was just eating the rest of the pumpkin pie. That's what I yeah, think. Yeah, trading and pins. You see, he's <laughs> right the dad of the kid who couldn't get <laughs> the bird. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, uh, now uh, we do our, our next oh, favorite. Oh, hi, Gyro Man. See, you're so cute. You're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, this is so a portion of the show. We go full Twitch. Oh, thank you, Blue Front. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. Oh, my God. Thank That's you. not weird. So, that somebody it's... has to tell a boring story while we while we cam, girl. Uh, 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 Mike? Thank you, Spider5597. Five, five, You're so yeah, cute. I, was, uh, uh, I, had a, I had to wash the dog a couple days ago. Yeah, you know, you still have a dog? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, he visits thank me you, irregularly. Mac, thank you, Mac. Uh, Pro 17. Uh, so uh, okay. Yeah, so, I, you know, so I, I, had to, I had to wash him. But uh, you know he he and, he, and he's, how often how often do you wash the dog? Uh, Say thank you, Justin. Are you jumping on your mate? Wow. So cute, a <laughs> cat. So yeah, I, I wash him. I wash him. You know, like maybe maybe every thank you, Kevin Aaron ninety six every six weeks or so. He's he's usually pretty I'm filthy. Wet. <laughs> and uh, and so you know and so the thing is is I didn't have any I didn't have any shampoo. Um, and so uh, I, I had to I, 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 I see you a uh, hundred bits. Thank you, man. He's, hey, he's thank a gigantic you. dog. He's a gigantic dog. Yeah. And I, so I borrowed a little shampoo from my buddy, but my yeah. buddy had it was it was like one squirt of shampoo. So I'm like, Thank ah, you, Captain Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so cat. You're so cat. You're a cutie. You're such a cutie. So I was like, yeah. I was like, I'll make yeah. this. You're cutie. I'll, I'll make this work. No problem. You know, like, like, and so I so I get him in the in the bathtub. I'm on fifty bets. I'm gonna do so many things with these bets. <laughs> and I soak him. I soak him full of water, and then and then I I go. And there's just a little blotch of, uh, and so now I'm like, all right. Oh my well, God, Sunbun, you uh, double teamed, fifty-fifty. Uh, what about the Sunbun, fifty? Yeah, Make it copies. Just realize that's the same bar. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, are you telling Alex me that birthday, you had to you buy just a squirt? all over my face? No, well, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't buy it. He, he, uh, my buddy had oh. had some old some shampoo oh. left. Okay. He, he gave it to me, and, it was, and I thought, oh, my like, yeah, this should Jack, be all right. JK, JK, Turns JK, out that with a gigantic dog. J. King 206, you're the worst. J. K. Ha, ha. I'm JKing. Uh, so anyway, with a gigantic dog, oh, you can't use just one squirt to, to cover, like, to get the whole dog clean. And he was filthy. He was filthy, so... So, um, so I just kept him. I kept him in there. Up, I'm crying. Seven months of awesomeness. I want to come. <laughs> Let me come. You're so cute. <laughs> oh my God. Reject sixty nine one seven one seven. Let me get my toys. Hold on. Let me get my toys. <laughs> what? This is this is a portion of the bit called dropping of all pretense. <laughs> J J on one oh five. Oh, you think all of it? I don't know. Oh Jesus. We have one more. All right, here we go. Debbie Debbie says, Jay says, thank you. Thank you for 200. I'll take him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we done? Are we yes, done with the we're bit? done. Oh, okay. You're, is your dog clean? Dog yeah, clean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. <laughs> anyway, he cleaned yeah, his yeah, dog. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Hey, man, it's that time of the year. It's the time of the year. Uh, yeah, it's that time of the year where everybody buys boglins for 13-year-olds to mess with their minds. <laughs> for $1,400, <laughs> apparently. Or 24 <laughs> No, he's oh dripping God. on shrooms right now. Oh, he's oh like, my God, is this the Avatar River ride? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, uh, oh, imagine we pull up. 
we pull a heist and there's the whole river ride that's nothing but Christmas lights and black lights. And then at the end, instead of the one animatronic that's good, it's just <laughs> this guy going, oh, I'm Senator Boglin. I'm here to answer your questions. Oh, don't stop. I'm so oh, dear. You're going on a flume ride. Oh, dear. <laughs> what was what was the uh, what was the bit we were doing at Dragon Con? With uh, with 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 the A, the D man and the A man, A man, the A man. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah! Wow. The, was that even on the show? <laughs> no, not at all. That, that was that was. We for... spent four hours on the A man while we brunched and <laughs> never mentioned it anywhere else. We never even <laughs> talked about the A man again, and it was incredible. <laughs> Okay. What time? One of my favorite things is whenever we're out doing a show or a convention or something, and Bryce is with us, is just what happens with Brian and I. It's the basis of the show is Brian and I just try to make each other laugh. Uh, except Bryce gets angry because it's his job to make sure that we're funny on the show. So he just like <laughs> is laughing really hard, but also just very. He is as frustrated as he is uh, delighted as he's just like no. No, save! These are all things that, like, I know right now, if I just said in the Discord, hey, this is what the bit that these guys are doing, they'd be like, save it or record it because they want to hear it. And we're just, no, four hours, we never said anything about the fact that the D-Man, who, for those of you who are listening to us for the first time, <laughs> oh, does I... The, the D-Man, my name is Peter Diamandis. <laughs> I have the American world record for divorce. How, how many and, divorces or, do you have? I have been divorced in American record for 141 times. <laughs> oh Did my it go goodness. up? Did it's you go up? up? I thought it, it has. It has. The the D man has been a busy man. Ah, well, I mean, so, the, yeah, the D man has a rival. <laughs> That's right. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Guess what I was busy doing? <laughs> what you uh, you were what? Getting divorced. <laughs> yeah, well, ah. I, uh, <clears throat> well, the problem is that divorce is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're a oh, sinner. No, oh no! Oh no! It is my uh, uh, rival from across the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the the uh, Irish you heard, Amen. You heard me say it to the Amen. I'm here. People say Amen. It's the Amen. That's that's why they say it is because I'm always on the scene. Listen, you're an affront to God and all of His plans. He says, "Thou shalt not get divorced." It's in the Bible, isn't it? And so instead, I obey the Bible. And I get uh, annulments. Oh, well, no, of course. Uh, I man. hold the global record, not just the American, not just for the colonies. I hold the global record for annulments. 2075. <laughs> 2075. And if I meet your mother tonight, it'll be 2076, won't it? Oh, it's... you are a real piece of work, eh, man? <laughs> I, I, I swear, uh, just because you have some backwards deal with a pope doesn't well, mean that. Hold on, I remember this. The the Amen, you're you're getting married to these women so that you can Oh of course them. you have to get married. I have never had sex out of marriage, not once. Okay, but you can't get an annulment if you consummated the wedding. <laughs> well, of course you can. <laughs> it just takes a twenty and a fifth of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you can always get out. Come on. <laughs> now listen, that seems, I that don't seems claim dubious. If you're gonna have the global record, that seems not, dubious. It's not for me to judge other people, but I damn you to hell <laughs> and <laughs> you're <laughs> going to burn for all eternity. You are an affront to all the God's creations. I think you're a real A soul. <laughs> that's, oh. that's another classic D-man zinger. <laughs> you can oh, well, I... that one a little bit, D-man. <laughs> that's the difference between you and me. A soul is a punchline to you. To me, it's my one-way ticket to heaven. I'll be up there in the afterlife, taking poops down on hell with you. You and all your divorce <laughs> sinners below you. Meanwhile, all the other ladies I've annulled up there partying doing the Macarena, aren't we? That's right. <laughs> the Macarena is still in vogue yeah, in heaven. Yeah. And everything's in vogue. <laughs> We do the Macarena and the Vogue. Including the Vogue. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. Now we did the D-Man and the A-Man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what All right, we... no, so here's what's happening. Uh, we are... Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, you're saying this isn't the bit? All of a sudden, the D-Man can't keep it up. It's got to change the bit. That's what happens when you lose a rap battle of divorces versus annulments. <laughs> Drop a beat, MC. <laughs> I said MC, you're the DJ. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Uh, all right, for reals, let's do the bit. All right, all right. I really, all right, I really hold on. All right, so here's what happens. Uh, it is the season to be buying uh, from scamstuff.com, <laughs> but also from other sites. So we had uh, one of our favorite things that we like to do is go looking at AliExpress. This is Alibaba, the Chinese uh, uh, site. They have all manner of crazy shit on that site uh, that we are asking people to send us links to the wildest stuff you can find on AliExpress. And our main man, Mike TV, is going to help us come up with a song to serenade you into possibly buying that uh, that that product. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to think that all of us are going to contribute here, right? I mean, it's like there might be, there might be a, a bridge over which one of us should speak detailing the benefits to each of these. So let's, let's take a look. Sure. Uh, Bryce, what is the first suggested item from the demon hordes of the internet that people should buy their loved ones for Christmas? Sure. Well, let's take a look. Like, if we take a look, can can someone describe this as, a, as an audio podcast? Also, what, oh, what, well, th those are those are uh, pokeballs, right? Like, you know, they're they're uh, they're they're, uh, they're ready for for Pokemon training because you're gonna throw them right there at one of them Pokemon, and they're gonna get caught up right in the ball. That's right. Uh, the latest beautiful. 55 millimeter, three parts colorful Pokeball, Pokemon Go, Herb Grinder, Weed, Tobacco Grinder, Cigarette, Smoke Crusher <laughs> is $5.14 a piece on AliExpress.com. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait, real, do they have affiliate programs? I feel like we can actually move these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. We can look into that. But uh, we've we've got these great Pokemon ball. All right, so we got Pokemon grinders. balls that mm. grind weed. Who? Wh what is the target demographic for this? Twelve year olds wanting to get wicked high. But they want to uh, they want to grind right. Wait, are, are are current twelve year olds into Pokemon, or is are it just know? is it just uh, people who used to be twelve when it was hot? Okay, when it was hot. Spoken like a man who doesn't have three daughters, aged four, ten, and thirteen. It's almost like that's an accurate description of him. Huh? Uh, yes. Well, uh, uh, the answer is yes. It's still very, very popular, and kids still love it. <laughs> I mean, do you hear the story? My wife just broke an eight-year-old's heart because the bird pin wasn't good enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, I mean, th there there is a total generation that is about Sam my age. Sam is that, yes, that, sandwich, sandwich bread. Uh, uh, Brad uh, says, "Tokimon." Tokimon. Tokimon. Of course, that's pretty of good. Course, of course. <clears throat> I mean, they're 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 definitely okay, so, twenty so, thirty year olds who got into Pokemon by, when they were young and smoke a lot of weed now. I've got to feel like if you're twenty seven mm -hmm. and you bring a girl home and you mention that you have some weed and that you know, it's like, well, let's, you know, maybe we'll, and she's like, yeah, I'm into that. And then you go to get, you, you open your bag of weed and it's very I'm unground. It's very unground. I like to hijack. And then, uh, and then you have to think twice, like, is this going to, like, this is a polarizing moment. Either, like, is she gonna think this is the coolest thing ever? Or is she gonna think, like, that's weird that you would infantilize drug yeah. use. Yeah, it's like, oh wait, is she gonna run out of here? Or is she the one? Yeah, well. Well, Sell us on it, see if we can be Mike sold on TV. It. All right, so uh, yeah, so this is what I came up with in, in the minute that you guys were talking. My po my bows, magic bows, they grind up all my weed. My bows gotta catch them all. My bows are all you need. My bows, get my bows. My bows are pokey balls, the pokiest of them all. Pokeballs, available now at AliExpress. I know that you've got some hottie from the club you want to bring her on down and get wicked high. But before you bend time and space, you've got to grind that weed, don't you? Isn't that right, uh, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman? <laughs> I choose you, weed a chew. Thank you, Philip Seymour Hoffman. May you rest in peace. I was in... Boogie Nights! <laughs> what other movies? 
I was in uh, 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 Along Came Polly. Oh, but most importantly, you will always be my uh, master. <laughs> Take it away, Mike TV. My balls are magic balls. Balls grind out my weed. My balls got a kitchen mall. My balls are all you need. My balls are magic balls. Yes, they are indeed. My balls are pokey balls. They're the only balls you need. Woo! <laughs> Incredible work. Incredible one for work. one. One oh, for one. My God. My God. <laughs> Who knew that Philip Seymour Hoffman could talk? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's, he apparently like has a, a servant of Pitchman. <laughs> 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 All right. What, what else we got, Bryce? Well, we've got, uh, you know, uh, you need to decorate any any space that you're in, right? And we've got a beautiful, this is this is coming to us from Amazon.com. Uh, <laughs> Amazon? Amazon. Uh, the Beauty Made Chinese Red Porcelain Ceramic Craftwork Incense Burner Black Flow Cone Holder Artwork Home Decor Figurine. <laughs> and now I'd like to show you that this is Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Uh, can you can someone describe the image? Uh, okay, it's it's a it's a ceramic figurine with a top a naked lady with enormous jugs that appear to be shooting out milk at all times. Oh wait, no 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 that's smoke that's smoke. Oh yeah, it is smoke. Yeah no 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 it's incense and the smoke pours out of her nipples. But, now hold on, incense that's can't incredible. go down a tube like that. It's an incense holder, but I think you have to. Light one of those uh, incense bricks and maybe put it yeah, in I her butt. I think it's like a cone. She's yeah, there's a, a back a back side. Oh, got it. There's a loader. Um, <laughs> what is the target demographic for this, Justin? Uh, well, you know, this is probably age five to eight. Um, <laughs> you know, we want to think about the good old days. Uh, uh, so uh, they're they're just like, well, you know, I would, I, I want to think about when I was breastfeeding, but I also want some some sweet, uh, uh, I don't know, chamomile, whatever, whatever. It's, I, it's like uh, when you need to mask odors because you're playing with your pokeballs, but you're also wanting to be comforted by the member mem memories of your mom's enormous jugs. Wait, memories yeah. of you your memories? Like, and <laughs> your memories, yeah. Your memories. Yeah, memories and memories. Uh, oh, he's still oh, ready. Wait, he's still uh, wait, okay. wait, I see somebody no, 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 jotting no, 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 no. Six, sixteen ninety-five. Too much? Not enough? Oh no, that's that. Listen, that that one, that's a bargain. Okay, can we price. read a review on this? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Hey, and also, can we uh, can we see how many fake reviews are in there? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so we've that, got we've got two I, reviews. I'd like to mention okay. that that. Um, Fireseed is having a sale this weekend, and you can buy much finer art for less than that. God damn! You see them jugs? Ain't much finer art than that. I mm. know damn. that. You see that's cast. You can ah, I think I'm looking at 2077, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so we got, yeah, we got, a, we got a, we got a review here like, from son of a bitch. <laughs> we got a review here from an Amazon customer on November 3rd, 2017, rating it five stars, and it says. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, this is us uh, biting the hand that feeds us, and now we're going to Amazon.com and talking about their their clay jug of uh, 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 incense shooters. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I, I can I can describe this one, Brian, and I can I can throw to you. Uh, uh, Take it away. Yeah. She's got smoky boobs, smoky boobs she's got And if you've ever had smoky boobs, your love them sure is not She's got smoky boobs, smoky, smoky boobs Now you've heard about smoke on the water But you've never heard about smoke out of these nips Hi, I'm Justin Robert Young from the Night Attack Podcast Oh, uh, enjoyed a little incense here and again, but not out of these real fat titties. Anyway, don't take it my word for it. Listen to this from Brian. <laughs> oh, man. I sure like boobs, <laughs> but I also like smoke. And I used to have to choose between boobs and smoke. <laughs> and not until this incense holder came along. From ever since then, I've been sleeping in a closet. <laughs> 
<laughs> with all the smoke and boobs. Listen to Brian. Never make a choice again. The world is your oyster when you've got these smoky titties. Right, Mike TV? <laughs> She's got smoky boobs, smoky boobs. She's got. And if you've ever had smoky boobs, you'll love them, sure as not. She's got smoky boobs. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Incredible. That's quality entertainment, people. <laughs> Best thing ever. I swear to God, if Mike TV wasn't so talented, this would be literally the worst episode we've ever done. It's uh, so good. I love the fact that I see you in the chat says, hey, if you're new, yes, it's like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got our next product here. All right. I think, I think this is a real solid. This is a real home run. This is a real double solid. Single Listen, double. we're o yeah, because we're only looking for big heavy hitters for the holiday season. You know, there's there's a lot out there. You know, I think uh, a lot of people went and and uh, 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 bought a lot of stuff over Cyber Monday and Black Friday. But we bring you the real deals here mm. on uh, on 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 Night Attack. That's right. So if you if you act now. Uh, you can get your very own 1776 black hat from the InfoWars store. What? Oh Celebrate I your love that... of America's independence with a 1776 cap. It's also got a little uh, "Don't Tread on Me" snake on the side here, if you can, if you see, uh, which is just uh, all sorts of. <laughs> I can't make it. I think. So, uh, I think uh, a uh, boat 70... sink. 1776 will commence again uh, if you try to take the guns away, as we learn from Alex Jones, I've heard that uh, who goes to the same liquor store as Brian. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, by the way, Waffleopagus pointing out, no, no, you can't. It's out of stock. Well, this is fraudulent, Pierce. I'm telling you, there's a conspiracy. Save, save it, save it. We have to do a bid. <laughs> so we got to get. Saving it. Saving it. Right. My eyes have seen the coming of another InfoWars, another InfoWars hat on my head. My eyes have seen the coming of another InfoWars. If you don't get it now, you will soon be dead. Hello, it's me, Pierce Morgan. Now I bear no ill will against you blokes in the colonies, even though I'm a right cunt, ain't I? Just take it from me and my friend. <laughs> Alex Jones. Alex? Pierce, you and I know that there's a lot of people out here that don't have hats, okay? If you try to take the hats, we will take our country back. The, the corporations, right on down to George Soros and everybody else. If you don't give me the money for my hat, you will also pay the price. Isn't that right, Pierce? <laughs> the iron pice price, Alex. <laughs> Sorry I said vice instead of price. You know, it's not like me to mess up. <laughs> anyway, I want this hat, Mike TV. <laughs> I'm cooking. My eyes have seen the coming of another InfoWars hat. Oh, it looks pretty nice. But in order to get this InfoWars hat, you gotta pay the iron price. The iron price. You gotta pay it price. Murder pills. 1776! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. A boat sank. A boat did. I do believe yeah, a boat yeah. sank in 1776. It did. Oh. It did. All right. Well, we've got, um, we've got, we've got some more products here. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, by, I think we're moving units. I think that, listen, I'm getting emails right now from everybody saying, what the fuck? How are these units moving so much? Like, uh, so this one, this was great. This one's a good value. This one's a stocking stuffer. You can really stuff a good, just shove it in there. Stocking just, just this. get in there with both fingers, pull it wide open, yeah. and then just stick your fist in. Pretty much. There. Uh, this is the Ikoki three-piece set flirting spike glove G spot oh, massage right. adult sex toys for women barbed finger sleeve glove sex product. <laughs> It is a 5.0 rating with 266 votes for $1.02 a lot. See, I think there are some some items on this list that are being sold off brand. I think I think they can't say what they're really for. So <laughs> what they What is this run really for? <laughs> I mean, 
Justin. advertises itself as a G-spot massager, sex toy for women. Uh, what, what is this really for, though? Well, it's it's for it's for stimulating wait. conversations. No, I think it. So what you do is you put these on and you wait and you put your hands in your pocket and and you wait until somebody starts boring you. And then when they do, you pull out two hands covered in these G-spot stimulating spikes, uh, silicon, okay. and you start waving like this. And then when they they pause and they're like, I'm sorry, what? Then you start stroking their face. And then when they say, please stop, and then you're like, are you done now? And then you put them back in your pockets and you reset for the next time somebody bores you. Never be bored again. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm with that. I think that that's the most logical way that you can describe that product. <laughs> yeah, that's the only, most easy, efficient way to. to I mean, what? Well, they, I mean, they have to, they have to list all that stuff because sex sells. You know, yes. everyone's just always like on the, you know, on the willing grace. It's like, hey, my J spot and everything. It's just, it's always a thing on the TV. So you gotta list it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. uh... How are you feeling, Mike? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just rocking out now. <laughs> when you got a conversation that you need to stop, break out the the conversation stoppers. When you got a conversation that you need to stop, you gotta break out the conversation stoppers. But when you got a crotch that you need to grab, well you can use the conversation stoppers. Hi, I'm Pat Sajak, host of Wheel of Fortune. A lot of times I am at parties here in Hollywood when all of a sudden somebody starts boring me. Well, I came up with a little trick. I found a glove that I used to shove up prostitutes' butts that really solves it. But don't take my word for it. Here's my co-host, Vanna White. <laughs> oh, Pat. Hold on, no, sorry. You set up a bit. You were oh, like, sorry, oh, you sorry. Were a bit. Oh, Pat. <laughs> Remember when we had too many margaritas and we totally hosted Wheel of Fortune drunk? <laughs> oh, why are you putting on the gloves again, Pat? Pat, don't rub my face. Oh! You will get everything the gloves, the finger space. The cuticle uh, massager. <laughs> it's all for you with these gloves. Isn't that right, Mike TV? When you gotta stop a conversation, use a conversation stopper. And when you gotta grab a crotch, you can also use a conversation stopper. It stops conversations dead in their tracks. <laughs> Raid! <laughs> no, no letter T's. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is classic line. No letter T. <laughs> yeah, that's her one speaking role. She can never speak for any letter except for T. <laughs> which she does. She's a baritone. A lot of people don't know this. <laughs> no letter T. <laughs> oh, so, she sounds like Olmec from Legend of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Oh, wait, is that the one that Tony Carboni was on? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tony Carboni, uh, contestant on Legend of the Hidden Temple. That's so my, amazing. My favorite, my favorite part of this bit is uh, Bryce, if, if you're listening to the audio only, mm-hmm. Bryce is over there d- doing his best Q, QR, wait, wait, what is it, QVC? Or... The TV where they oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He's I mean, oh, he's, oh, he's, like, he's yeah. slow panning the objects across the screen. <laughs> Listen, is what you're saying. It's a, it's a very visual medium shopping at home. You really want to yeah. uh, get people to like feel like they're touching, you know, these products. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, who's man, I, I feel like we just encountered a new character, the head of programming at QVC. Well, you know, people touch like the product. They love Hold it. on, this is hey Tim Cook. <laughs> Tim Cook, what are you doing running QVC? <laughs> well, uh, you know, Justin, they make so much money on their product. <laughs> they use their is that, to make good product. Is that his gimmick is half vomiting and gagging on his own words? <laughs> yes, Brian, I am Tim Cook. 
<laughs> By the way, you know, you know, Tim Cook gave the pregame speech at Auburn uh, uh, when they beat uh, Alabama. I think we actually have some sound. Yeah, of let, that. let's go live on this. Here we sure. go. Hold on. Let, 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 let's just go ahead. Uh, this is Tim Cook. We actually have this. this is real audio from inside the the locker room. Very exclusive. Uh, uh, this is Tim Cook uh, giving a pregame speech to the uh, the Auburn Tigers. Now, now, fellas, <laughs> when I when I run Apple. We use data to make a product for our customers. You need to go uh, treat your customers right. The touchdown. <laughs> so use your data and get the fuck out of there. Get it out there. No okay, wow. boys. <laughs> Wow, that was great. Now, great a, a thrilling, a thrilling speech. I didn't know whether or not it was Tim Cook or Mrs. Doubtfire halfway through. But <laughs> his, his opening I, line of the speech was, well, hello. Well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk it's about fry, fry fruiting. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, all right. I think I think we got, we, got, we got time for one more, right? Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Oh, man. We want more. There's a lot of these here, huh? Uh, let's... <laughs> How many original songs did we think we were gonna come up with? <laughs> Mike bought brought a a whole binder. It's hard to see. you can't well, yeah, see. It. He brought a binder of all of his music. Yeah, I just because I just cause last time you guys were, were, there were some requests for songs and I and I I and I kind of halfway knew the lyrics and so I was like screw it I'll just make sure that if, if if something comes up. Man, the only way I've you can not remember your own songs is if you've written literally eight thousand of them. Yeah, no, I mean. Oh wait, that's exactly what you've done. Yeah, oh, no, that's, that's you. Yeah. I mean, You're an eight thousand song totally, writing man. To be totally honest, it's, it's more like three thousand. But it, but it, it is it is actually right around three thousand. It's only so, yeah. three thousand, Brian. Yeah. Come on. Please. But I can only play about a tenth of those, so yeah. Okay. So there you go. So that's only three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we've got we've got a great one here, and I, and I think this is a good uh, you know uh, callback to uh, some of our previous uh, so, some of our previous uh, excursions into AliExpress here. This is the uh, Red Bella Humor Funny T-shirt Men Rocket Man printed Korean politics King spoof figure oh. Kamiseta masculine Kim Jong Cotton T-shirt. Um, okay, this is a knockoff of the Shef Shepherd Fairy Obey poster design. Yeah, but only. also the Supreme logo, which is what that Rocket Man part is styled stylized after. Uh, are you sure about that? Because it looks like Obey. Um, that's uh, the the red and the white. Uh, that font is specifically the Supreme logo stuff. Oh, I, I don't know what the Supreme logo thing is. Cool. Uh, but it looks, uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, hold on. Now I have to show you what the Supreme logo looks like. Okay. Right, what he's trying to say, Brian, is it's a product. It's a product. It's they use product. They use data. Uh, so that's, that's the Supreme logo. And then this is the shirt. Right on. Anyway, it's both of those things. You're right. It, the face does look like the Obey the Obey Andre the Giant has a posse sort of look. Yeah, but but also Obey is also in a italic sans serif font. Okay, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you win. Let's sell it. Uh, <laughs> let's, Everyone the, needs shirts. The, this is uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, 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 Mike Mike TV can just play while you guys argue whether or not it's a <laughs> from 15 years ago or from five years ago. Like if you guys want to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, people need to know about the real Rocket Man, you know? <laughs> Western culture spent so long defining who the Rocket Man was, right? Yeah, but this is the original Rocket Man. The real Rocket Man. Time traveling, wheeling, dealing. Time traveling, wheeling, dealing Rocket Man. <laughs> That's the crazy thing you just said that because that was the exact lyric. Really? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. OG, okay. Time traveling. OG. Wheeling and dealing. Time traveling. Rocket man. OG. Time wheeling. Feeling and squealing. Docking man. He's a fucking rocket man. <laughs> ah, hi. It's me. The internet's Brian Brushwood. Now, a lot of people are divided in these times along <laughs> harsh political lines. Some people think this is an homage to an Obey shirt. <laughs> Others think it's supreme. But there's one thing we can agree on. It will cover your nipples. But don't take it from me. Just ask my friend, Justin Robert Young. Hi. My name's Justin Robert Young, and my nipples used to be out and open. But now, I have them covered. Thanks to the massive face of despot Kim Jong-un. And a name that I think might be one of two references spanning between 15 and five years ago. <laughs> Which is it? I'll leave that up to Bryce and Brian. 
<laughs> oh, Justin, oh. when you open your nipples, it's really horrific. Take it away, Mike TV. <laughs> Cover your nipples with the rocket man. Cover your nipples with the rocket man. Cover your nipples with your very own rocket man. Rocket Man. Batteries. Woo! Batteries not included. Literally, <laughs> literally launched a rocket into Japanese airspace like 12 hours ago. So, <laughs> yeah. A great bit in the apocalypse. Like, uh, people will be like, oh, how much fun they were having. <laughs> <laughs> they were literally making up songs shortly before they exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie didn't like it. Okay, hold on, let's Bonnie's let's cut just... to Bonnie live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, no. Bonnie, you gotta see it. Oh, jeez. But 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 <laughs> Papa, before the Big Bang, when was the last parody song about Kim Jong Un? <laughs> <laughs> well, history is preserved in the archives of the Great Big Big Brain. It tells the story. <laughs> Shall we go to Big Big Brain and see it again? <laughs> <laughs> big Big Brain. <laughs> I think that's you, yeah, Mike yeah. TV. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> he's the only brain here. Hey, wait, all right, I think, do, do we have time for one more? Oh, yeah, we... of course we do. Of course we do. We always have time. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, wouldn't it be great if we had time for that? Why don't we just talk about how great it would be if we had time uh, for Well, it, what like I'm, I'm not minute. worried about the time because uh, we have you know, the time. I mean, I'll tell you what. Time's great. I love it. it. You know, otherwise, you're sitting around. You're like, what? Is it the same time? No. I know because time's elapsed. It's a great idea. <laughs> All right, here you go. All right. Look, this is this is fun for the whole family now. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we, we look, we saw some stuff today. Maybe not for everybody. Yeah, it's fair. But this is something I think everybody can get into. This is the, let me get the name right. 12 pieces a lot dinosaur toy set, plastic dinosaur world play, toys, dinosaur model, action, and figures best gift for boys. Well, this looks like something totally innocent that definitely can't be made perverse through an internet comedy show. Yeah, I mean, look, there's a, there's a Diplodocus, there's a Triceratops, there's a, a Tyrannosaurus a Rex. Yeah. yeah, there's a little oasis. So you can pretend that after the asteroids have blown up all of humanity, these are the last 12 surviving members of the dinosaur race. And they begin to slowly cannibalize one another as they begin a race to be the last of their own kind. Hilarious yeah. for ages 8 to 12. I mean, if only there was one song that could, uh, that could just sum up kind of everything. I mean, I don't know about you, Justin, but I feel ever so slightly aroused. You know, I get I get this funny feeling. I used to play with little dinosaurs like this when I was a kid, but and maybe it's affected me as an adult. You know, my first sexual thoughts happened while I was playing with dinosaurs. And, you know, I think if I were to sum up both of our feelings, it would go a little something like this. <laughs> when I was a wee one, I had my first crush. Those tiny fossil arms made me the plastic arms made me blush. That neck, that tush, that burnt, that, that neck, that horn, that tush, that never ending smile. That's when I knew I was a plastic paley paleophile. It may be a sin, but that toothy grin drives me wild. I'm not into boys or girls, I just want plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> I want my plastic dino whore. Omnivore, carnivore, herbivore. I'll fuck 'em all till I'm dino sore. <laughs> Archaeopteryx extend those plastic wings. It makes me think the naughtiest things. Brontosaurus with your neck so very long. I could stroke it all night long. Velociraptor, give me some more, you big dick is sore. I'll fuck them all till I'm dino sore. 
Megalosaur, give me your ultra megalodon. Sizemosaurus, you shake me, you're breaking my heart, heart on. I wanna go back, back to the past For that sweet plastic dino ass I will wind back the clock, tickety tock For that fat dino cock Please take me home, I'm all alone Stuck in a world without dinosaurs With the dinosaurs Oh what a bore <laughs> Boo, you phoned that one in <laughs> Yeah, God yeah, yeah, damn it Boo. You guys got me. You guys got me. Yeah. <laughs> Squeezing plastic in on a, on a on a song that has a lot of lyrics is, is really tough. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. By the way, twelve hundred people. Twelve hundred people <laughs> concurrent on the front page of Twitch just listen to Paleo File. That's amazing. This is great. Uh, uh, one more time, twitch.tv slash Mike TV Live. Uh, that song uh, was not written in two seconds, uh, 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 as we were kind of pretending, but yeah. uh, was written by his chat because you stream live uh, here and you uh, do fun shit like that. Uh, tell everybody about uh, more about your channel. Yeah, so uh, so I, I do. I, we do occasionally. I will actually co-write songs with, with my chat. Um, I, I'm, I'm Mike TV. I'm in a band called Get Set Go. I've got 13 albums in stores. Um, so I read a lot. I only play originals, but I've got I've got hundreds of them, and people like like them sometimes. Sometimes they puke and run for the hills, but like that song. But 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 we actually they're they're we definitely they're fun, ridiculous, over the top, silly. There's earnest songs and there's and there's and there's real genuine rock and roll, and uh, you know. And so we set ourselves on fire, and then we just kind of hang out and uh, and sing songs, in a kind of right. like, you know, he's, he's, in, he's like like most rock stars, they just need to speak in in crazy talk. Uh, Mike's just <laughs> awesome. He's so talented, as anybody who's listening to this episode will know. Uh, but please tune into his streams. They are awesome. Uh, for my money, they uh, it is it is the best of of music creative on Twitch, and uh, you will not regret being around uh, uh, his talent. So go ahead and and follow that Twitch.tv slash Mike TV Live. Thank you, Jason. Hells to the yes. Hey man, I have a new idea for a segment. It's called How Totally Fucked Are We? Mm. And it goes like it, this. Uh, uh, Movie Draft Minute! Welcome to Movie Draft Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of November 27th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. All right, the following words are either going to really confuse you or bring back nightmares you didn't even know you had. Slide, slide, jump, jump. All right, let's go check the scoreboard. Team Frog Pants are in sixth place, still waiting for their first film. Team Feline is in fifth place, $151.8 million. Team Jury is in fourth place. Coco bringing in $75.2 million for their total to $263.1 million. Team Big and Tall is in third place, $286.5 million. Team Champions are in second place, $328.5 million. And in first place, the whopping $382.5 million. It's Team Core Killers. And that is your Move to a Minute for the week of November 27th, 2017. Dude, uh, what are the odds of the second Star Wars movie doing better than the first? Because it sounds like, like Disney is making all the moves and all the noises that indicate that this is the best Star Wars movie they've ever made. Yeah, and th yeah that, I mean, for, for my money, the way that Kathleen Kennedy was managing that, like... It se it seems that they're they're definitely trying to knock this out of the park, right? The thing is like so things so so they made they made some pretty dr dramatic changes to the story and to even the man like like the creative management just to make sure that they had they came out with a great movie. So like the thing is is like I I, I try I think that it's gonna be I think it's gonna be above I mean better than Force Awakens as, as well, a I movie. Think the, the, the movie will yeah. be better, but, but, but we'll by the way, better than Force Awakens equals the biggest movie of all time domestically. Well, yeah. Are you talking about quality of movie or I, I'm, money? I'm I'm saying quality of movie. So the thing is, so so the thing is, so so when the word, so my for my money, when the word of when the word of mouth gets out. So even if even if people don't, even though people are going to flock to the theaters, of course they're going to flock. But but when when people go, this is an amazing movie. That's when you're going to get the repeat viewership, and that's like you know. And so whatever window you guys have, it's just will everybody just keep going back and seeing it? But but you know. But the thing is, is that like if it's a good movie, I'll I'll definitely go see it two or three times in the theater. 
Yeah, in and, the first weekend. Uh, well, uh, like, look if you first if you listen for you know the uh, the I don't know the the between the lines that they're saying. Uh, uh, they gave the director his very own trilogy to mm-hmm. write and direct, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is a tremendous, astounding vote of confidence. Then they turned around and they said it's going to be astonishingly long, two and a half hours, followed by under your breath, "You're welcome." Yeah, and then yeah. you'll thank us later. Um, uh, and we're seeing in the chat, we got people who are in management over at AMC Theaters saying that they fully, like, they are preparing for this to be bigger than The Force Awakens, which which means effectively this is the the most sideways blowout. This is going to be the biggest blowout in the history of, of our movie draft ever. I, I, I think the fact that nobody chased down that percentage, because if, if you have not been a part of our movie drafts uh, for gigantic movies like this. If more than one team or person wants to bid a hundred, then now the new bid is how small of a percentage you will take. It only went down to 85 in a year when everything else has taken an absolute crap. And by the way, me, I was the one that chased it down to 85 and I could tell that was far beyond Tom, my partner's uh, Tom's uh, comfort level. Like, like he was was like eh, I trust you I guess I don't know and then uh, when it got to eighty five that was my that was my hard stop line yeah but uh, but that was a bad move on my part that was bad move yeah no it's gonna be uh it, it's it's gonna be interesting but I I, I think it's over I, I think that there's 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 really not much uh, that could happen that that doesn't have the last Jedi uh, taking it and by the way. I'm excited. I'm more excited for it than I thought I was going to be because I like The Force Awakens, but uh, uh, the the buzz on this, the feel of this one, I don't know. It just feels like it's just going to be good. It feels more confident than, than The Force Awakens did. Yeah, I agree. Um, everything about it seems like they, they got it together. Uh, are you uh, – uh, did you go see Coco? I did not, no. I was too busy uh, uh, looking at Coco exhibits at Mexico <laughs> in Epcot. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, Coco. Uh, Coco, Coco did well and and didn't uh, or uh, beat Justice League. You guys own that movie, right? Right, Justin. Me and uh, me and Brett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I had high expectations. I'm glad it delivered. Did, I haven't, I haven't, haven't seen, seen it. it? Yet. No, I, I'm I'm planning on catching I, this week. Are you right? sure you don't want to go see uh, Thor Ragnarok it. again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, Coco is incredible. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I did it's great. It's it's great. It's, it's like it's uh, Pixar in the form that I haven't seen in a long time. We, uh, awesome. <laughs> last night we were doing the Cord Killers podcast and uh, and we uh, like we paused it uh, or we muted Tom yeah. so that Tom couldn't hear us because he like we said we got as far in our review as saying like the best part of this movie was going in with no expectations, no idea what we're about to see. And it was utterly delightful. Yeah. And so Tom bowed out. We paused it or we muted him and we started talking. And then we get to this part at the end. And then uh, and Bryce is like, did did you cry at the end? And I'm like, motherfucker, I cry at Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I cry at everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, it made me cry. It made me cry yeah. a lot. Yeah. Uh, a lot of that good Emmy juice. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be a good movie. The soundtrack is incredible. It's awesome. So wait a minute. What, 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 the, the, the controversy with Coco is not the movie. The movie, I think, is universally praised. Controversy with Coco is apparently there is a oh, f- elongated white people tax God. at the beginning with oh. the with, with 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 the frozen white people tax. White, white people tax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you they have a a, a direct to TV frozen special that they instead tacked onto the front of Coco instead of one of the the shorts that Disney usually puts in front mm. of their movies. Yeah, because mm. no, normally like the the, the the shorts are always super well regarded. It's usually like yeah. like the, the the testing ground they have before people get. Full so, features, so, so, so like th- they think, think about um, this sure. now for someone like me whose kids was there with my kids. And when I first saw Frozen, I didn't really care for it. Uh, there are still fundamental story elements. I think are really weird. The whole third act is very obviously made up at the last minute because they realized they had a popular song and the villain had to somehow, somehow be a hero and all that stuff. So I had problems with all that. But in the intervening time in the last, what, four or five years, uh, I've seen my child grow up loving the music of it and loving yeah. the story and meeting Elsa and Anna and all that stuff. So for me to be there sitting next to them uh, uh, while they were watching you know, Frozen and for me to have learned to appreciate aspects of Frozen, like the design and all that stuff, it, it was probably – I had more fun in that 30-minute short than I did watching the actual movie Frozen. But – it's uh, great, it's a, not a good case for me to go watch Frozen. Yeah, no, no, no. Wait, yeah. well, don't don't watch Frozen. It's, it's a bad movie. The third act sucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've already heard all the songs, and we're done. Yeah. I think 
I think we're going to have a lot of traumatized dating later on. Like, how fucked up is it that, like, like she meets this guy and they sing a great song and then oh, he yeah. totally... And then, and then he ends up being a, the total... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Total he is just yeah. totally weird. Okay. Yeah. And That's a good yeah. lesson to learn. But, they might as well learn okay, it. Okay, okay, hold on. You know. I, I, I have a way I have a way to couch all this, all right? Okay. Now, uh, for you, the Frozen thing was nothing but a negative. But... I is, is well made. The songs are fine. Right. Decent animation. But here's my theory. It's 22 minutes. You long. were given a gift by not knowing anything about Coco going in. Sure. Mm -hmm. Think about the marketing department over at Disney. They say, this movie's amazing. It's testing through the roof. How do we sell it? Oh, we have to explain the story to yeah. everyone. And then someone says, I got another what if idea. We put Frozen on it. All that? we have to say is frozen short at the beginning of it that'll get everyone in and then they'll watch it that's just so you, if, if that now so if you though. think about it as as a tax as a literal not a white people tax but but a marketing tax like i will sit Public through good. i will sit through three hours of that shit for the experience of having a mass market release movie where i somehow go in not knowing a goddamn thing like that sure. was amazing to me mm -hmm. 20 yeah. minutes okay well, long yeah long. yeah and, and was it what it was it the kind of thing that could have been cut down a bit and they just no didn't? It, it had like six or seven it was tight it was tight it. It, it was super tight, tight. Very yeah. dense right. I mean yeah. you right. could tell you could tell this was meant for prime time television yeah. Yeah. and and just thrown on there okay. yeah I thought it was great it was fun it had all the notes and like I kind of I always cringe at like the funny little sidekick characters but Olaf was really kind of postmodern <laughs> yeah he was tolerable and he was like uh, aware but not aware so he got to make jokes yeah. that were funny for us yeah. I just yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. but like I am thinking darkly here and that like here is a I felt like they had to do like white people so nobody would complain about learning about oh, another culture. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, oh, we're I mean, celebrating your culture now. Can't you sit through the a movie? The worst part you is know? you're not, I don't think you're wrong. I think they did it that as is part of a, a cultural. Dark thought. Thought. Yeah. This is obviously what it is. There's no doubt that that's what it is. It was that like, hey, I understand that a lot of people might be a little weirded out by the idea that we're talking about death and Mexicans. <laughs> so uh, uh, what do you say, frightened white people who also are a gigantic, undeniable economic generator for the Disney and Pixar base? We give you a little thing. You come see our thing. We swear to God you'll like it. But uh, uh, you come in, you see the thing, and it'll be fine. Get you in. A uh, 25-minute spoonful of sugar will help the Mexican heritage. <laughs> will help, them, and it's we'll help the Mexican go down. <laughs> sure. Oh, and, my and, goodness. And, and like, sure. I mean, Coco does it. I, I feel like Coco does a very good job of reacting. I mentioned this on the Swirling Time. Coco does a very good job of presenting death and the afterlife in Mexican culture in a way that is not westernized not, cre not, and not creepy and not it's not, not creepy it's not a yeah. zombie movie you know he's freaked out because he's walking seeing living skeletons not because the dead are alive you know like it it really handles the culture very well so awesome I mean, having said that and, and also the I music just, is fantastic the visuals incredible. are great the animation is spot on and i keep uh, pulling up the album on spotify and and, and uh, uh, Bobby, really? uh cool. we were talking cool. about this on court killers um um the, uh, there is an old person who is accurately portrayed the way children see old yes. people yes. With, mm. with 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 giant tufts of mm. hair puffing mm. off of her chin no. and, and 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 everybody you That's know like, like clearly clearly not dialed in with what the rest of the family is up to and yeah. being ushered around and stuff well, and yeah. It's it, and it's it's great. It demystified all that. It's like, yeah, that's part of what it means to be alive and be I, part of a family. I actually had yeah. a really weird connection to the movie because I just gone and visited my grandmother. She's like ninety four, oh, wow. and she's about Holy to pass shit. on. She 94? She's yeah, she's like exactly Coco what do you right have to now. Say about me too. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're asking Angela Lansbury at ninety two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Seriously, right? But then, um, but anyway, so she's going through this. Like you know, she's not recognizing people and all that kind of stuff and then um but like all my family was saying don't take the kids to see her that's not they're gonna like, traumatize they're her. gonna yeah and yeah. i'm like you know what when i'm 
this age, I want people to come see me, yeah. even though I have hair growing off my chin. You better shave it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't. I, I thought it was like really. I I was offended by everybody making it demonized and weird. And then w- to go to the movie and that boy is just like joyfully celebrating his grandma. And he's like, yeah, but I love Coco, you know? And I thought that was great. Awesome. It was yeah. uh, amazing. Highly, highly recommended. I'll, I'll go see it again. Like I told, yeah. I told, I told Bryce if, if you wanted to go see it again, I would we, go we, see Maybe it. we'll go see it on Friday or Saturday. Yeah, let me, if you guys, if you guys I'm, I'm actually not I, traveling I, I for three this, weeks. So I'm, I'm very excited to catch up on movies and have a good time. And, and Coco is definitely on that list. Want to know what else is a list? Diamond Time, where you can submit your own projects right here on our Reddit. That is reddit.com slash r slash diamond club. Right up there at the top. Sticky Daz post. It's in green so it can be seen. Uh, the top three get read. Here's the first one. You, uh, you need to buy gifts. That's just a fact. Chances are you need to buy gifts for a nerd. That's a probability. Nerds are notoriously hard to shop for. So why don't I get them some cool, handmade, custom nerd shit. Uh, uh, Dian, uh, D- Daniora Cosplay, D A N I O R A Cosplay.com is reopened for all your nerd shopping needs with custom orders and new items being added daily. That is Amy Frost. Amy Frost did the uh, patches for, for Stickers or DIAF. I got a chance to see her at PAX Unplugged. She is awesome. I can personally vouch that shit is dope. Go buy from her, uh, Daniora Cosplay. The longtime friend of the show and my co-host on The Modern Rogue, Yellow Gold, a.k.a. Jason Howell, has a new album up on Kickstarter and needs our help. He's got a lot less than 4K left to go. Oh, sorry. He's got less than 4K left to go <laughs> in 18 days. And he's old school Diamond Club. So show him some love. Kickstarter is a is yellow420.com slash Jason Swag. Listen to his last two albums for free at yellowgoldmusic.com. Dude, uh, he's talented in so many ways, uh, not the least of which is being a genuinely amazing, wonderful, good person. Uh, yeah, uh, he's showing off at this point. Like, he's uh, a, a, a great father to his kids. He's an amazing podcast host. And he also is, like, a genuine rock star. Oh, so. look at me. I'm good to my family. I take care of my kids. I run the board. At the, at the Twin Network. I'm pretty much great all around, and I haven't had an annulment. That's him. That's Jason Howell. Don't fall for it. Very specific. The, I don't by know the way, the, 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 everything is collapsing. All characters are collapsing. <laughs> it's all one character. It's a singularity. It's one. Yeah. Hey, how about this one from Short Angel? Hello again, Diamond Club. Uh, long story short, I'm back with a re-release of Forgotten Relics under my new brand. And I'm looking uh, for you, uh, for your help to give them the love that they deserve. So if space pirates who wield magic sound up your alley, check it out over at bit.ly slash science fantasy and learn where you can get the ebook for 99 cents. Okay, that's really, really good <laughs> that they mentioned it was an ebook for 99 cents at the end. <laughs> so Forgotten Relics is a book. Go get it. Ebook. 99 cents bit.ly slash science fantasy if you want to have your project shouted out right here then go ahead on over to our subreddit and uh, subscribe to it comment go hang out with other diamond club people it is reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamond club dot reddit dot com <sighs> hell of an evening justin yeah good times man good times good to be back good to be uh Good to be on crack. Good to be, uh... (laughs) No, it is good to be on crack. You know what? Yeah. Listen, kids, a lot of adults won't shoot straight with you, but we will. Yeah. Crack will fuck you up. (laughs) It will fuck you up. Man, you sound like an old man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I'm serious. It'll fuck you up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In in a scary way. Like, you know, you'll be like, oh, shit. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Shit's happening now. It's basically what, how that works. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, uh, knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. It's crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, I see why this caused all the problems in the 80s. Yeah. No, it'll get you. Yeah. Woo! Uh, hey, man, thank you to everybody who tuned in live to watch us on the front page of Twitch. <laughs> if we're not back next week, you know why. Yeah, it's because we stole the virtues of crack. <laughs> 
happened. <laughs> Make it a mic TV. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mike, thank you to crack. Thank you to, I mean, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, man. Thank yeah. you to Chat Rel for coming up with the best gifts for this holiday season. <laughs> yeah. Hey, follow us. Uh, uh, real quick, it's for free. You know what's not free? Crack. <laughs> Super expensive, man. What's like, Jesus. With- I mean, what is this? The 80s? <laughs> you got stand up comics like, anybody notice how expensive crack is these days? Super expensive. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, Brian, uh, uh, there's one thing that we always say at the end of the show. Yeah. Stay alive forever. Do crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's crack. Do crack on Thursdays. No. Not crack fire. Night love you guys. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>